So here's 2105 Willamette. And it's on a usual street, so it, uh, most of the homes are set a little back. It's a very, very wide street, though not as busy as the wideness would call out for. In fact, here's one of the first vehicles to go by since I've been here. There's a lot of uh, road construction where they're building new sidewalks and curbs in the neighborhood. Now, I do believe this is actually an alley next to the house because I think it goes to the back of the one next door. We'll confirm that from the rear. Here's a view of the right side of the house over the fence. It does appear that the stucco has been touched up or redone on the house. A little clue is the spigot that's kind of almost buried in it. Newer straps on the downspouts. They put a top coating on the front stoop here. Those are all things that, that they've done to the property. Now, this is a home that they've done, from what I understand, a fair amount of work to. And I even noticed that the weather strip on the front door is missing. Hopefully, they didn't lose that. The door looks fairly new. The floors look like they've been refinished, but there's been a fair amount of activity over that since then. Hopefully that'll clean up. I just see some minor, minor scratches in the floor here at the entry. So here we have a good old school living room. And no central light fixture. That was the wind shut the door for me. Here's the dining, formal dining. Here's the kitchen. This is the cabinet that's missing. It's supposed to be one going over. Uh, they're, in fact, they're supposed to, they're waiting on me to finish the my showing so that they can install it. They'll probably do it later today or tomorrow. So, but most of this kitchen's new, granite tops. Um, I don't think I covered this entry closet. And here they have a pantry, the old style, where it's just half pantry. I bet you this is a water heater. No, it's not. They moved it. I'll bet you this originally was a water heater closet and they moved that. Here we have main level bedroom. Doors are looking new. Hardware's new. There's a closet rod. Windows look newer. Switch plates, I wouldn't have picked that color. <clears throat> Here's the bath, it has the old style tub. It looks like a newer toilet and vanity. They left the, the mirror cabinet in. I don't know if that even opens, it won't pull for me. There it goes. I would have painted that. <laughs> and they have a surround on this tub. It could have been a neater job, in my humble opinion. This is one of those really cheap surrounds. That's, eh, I would have tiled it, but that's me. They got a high cabinet here for some reason. I would have changed that. Fan, okay. Another bedroom. This room's got a good feel to it for some reason. Now, I'm seeing signs that there used to be something here, possibly um, a window or door that's been closed off. And another closet.
And that's going to take us to going out the rear. There's also a basement, and we'll get to that. Actually, I opened this door because there's no light in this hallway. Here's another coat closet or storage closet. Let's go ahead and hit the backyard. Couple steps down, dog house. They have it fenced. And this is some off street parking. And yeah, this is sheer, that's an alley. There's somebody back. There's almost like another house back there. And they've got a, a shed here. My guess is it's probably for uh, storage. Not some type of, yeah, it's just storage. This one wasn't locked. <laughs> And it's typical almost every home in Carter Springs. It's got a newer roof. And here's a view down the side that we got from the front. Side, back inside, going down the stairs to the basement, carpeted with a runner. And I didn't get lights on ahead of me. Sorry about that. And they put these steel supports in. There might have been a wall here, but this is a bearing spot here in the middle. And to keep the floors level, those posts are required. It could always be upgraded later with a stronger beam and a more open span if you wanted to make changes to that. Or put a wall up and make it separate rooms. This is not considered a bedroom. It could be a family area. And here's a room Technically, it's not going to be called a bedroom. There's no egress window or closet. But it could be used for a number of things. And we'll get to the utility room. Here we have... There they go. So we got three-quarter bath. Um, this is not new stuff as far as the toilet and sink go. Um, can't say how old the, this is a tile, not anything. Uh, the shower looks newer, and the faucets and whatnot are newer. But the toilet is not new. And here we go, water heater. Ream, it's good quality. And judging by the igniter, it's not a new one. Doesn't give a date on it. It was inspected when it was put in. But here we have, there's the water meter. There's the uh, washer hookup. Um, furnace is more updated than a water heater in my opinion. And there's the dryer hookup right here. And that pretty much takes us for the home. And just give you another view. Looking up the stairs, and there we are.